All right, g'day guys. Welcome back to the True Footy YouTube channel. Today, we are going to do a short, sharp, quick fire video. Going to be taking a shot at trying to predict the final eight for the remainder of this season. Now, you might have seen Druzy do this video yesterday, I believe, and uh, perhaps you're watching that like me and thought, I wish I could watch this exact same video, but with someone more handsome. Well, unfortunately, my roommate Dylan was busy, so today I'm going to be taking you through my final eight prediction. So this video is meant to be just taken as a bit of fun going through this quickle predictor. I've done this a bunch of times this year. I enjoy doing it, but we can sort of take a look at all the different sort of combinations. And, and the thing is that the equation changes constantly because there's upsets every week. So me doing this now is completely different to what it was like in the middle of the season. So we're just going to run through game by game, not doing too much analysis and just seeing what finals combination it spits out at the end and then you know what for some fun i'll go through the finals as well as always invite you to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already and do go check out my good friend drizzy's video on this exact same topic as well on his channel let's get into squeal all right so first of all it's going to take us obviously to the current ladder up the top right there as you would have seen, I've done my tips for this round already on Squiggle. So what I'm going to do is just shoot through it. Can't remember the exact margin. It doesn't really matter, but I'll just tip the teams correctly and then we'll go from there. So I did tip St. Kilda to beat Carlton, I think by about three goals. Bulldogs to beat Adelaide, or surely that's a good 35-point win. North Melbourne versus Geelong, I tip this would be a bit closer and I think the Cats will win a tight game by 18 points. Gold Coast versus Melbourne. I can't remember where that, that's been fixtures already, but it, it doesn't matter. I'm still tipping Melbourne by a couple of goals, four goals regardless. Backing my Eagles boys in for a 12 point win over the Pies. Essendon hosting Sydney. That's a tough one. That one, ah, uh, that one's iffy. I, I feel like someone's going to upset Sydney. I don't know why. I just got a feeling for the rest of the season here, uh, as good as they are, someone will just nip their ego a little bit. Um, not that they have an ego, it's not what I'm saying. I'm just. Just got that stank about it. So you got, I think I'll tip Sydney in the video, so I'll go with Sydney, but I think this round I could change that tip. Hawthorne versus Tasmania, sorry, Hawthorne versus Brisbane in Tasmania. Got to go with Brisbane. And uh, GWS are going to lose to Port Adelaide by 16 points. Richmond will beat Fremantle by 12 points. So that is the current ladder. If I get all my tips right correctly, you got Richmond back into the eighth. Uh, and the top seven is unchanged from memory. So we'll just get straight into Carlton versus Gold Coast for round 21. Carlton usually beat Gold Coast, I would say, even though Gold Coast is playing some improved footy. And again, these venues are going to be scrambled. So, but, you know, we can only just work with what we've got. I'm going to tip Carlton. Geelong versus GWS at GMHBA. GWS did beat them in 2019 there, but... Uh, I'm going to tip Geelong by five goals. Geelong is a much better team than GWS in this current season. Hawthorne versus Collingwood. This is a this is a doozy, and this could decide the wooden spoon. Ugh. I want to say Collingwood's probably getting consistently less shit, but Hawthorne has probably looked better in the games. They've looked really good. I don't recall who won the first battle between these two this year. I'm going to say Hawthorne. Scott Pendlebury's injured. Let's just go with the Hawks. 12-point win. Richmond versus North Melbourne at the MCG. Now, this will be a doozy because the form Richmond's in uh, isn't, you know, not that convincing, but the form North's in, they're looking pretty good. They just rolled Carlton by 40 points. I'm going to go an upset here. Yeah, let's just make this interesting. I'm not just going to tip the, uh, the winners every uh, every round. I'm going to tip North Melbourne to upset Richmond by seven points. St. Kilda versus Sydney, another one with upset potential. Oh, I tipped Sydney against Essendon, didn't I? You know, for this, I don't think it matters whether Sydney lose games in terms of dropping six. It means they can't come fourth or fifth, but I don't think they can realistically get a drop below six unless the Eagles win every game. So, yeah, just can't see it happening. Mm. Is there an upset brewing here as well? Poor. Sydney is just the better side, but I'll tip it in a thriller. Four points. Bulldogs versus Essendon. I feel like the dogs usually have the wood on Essendon. Am I wrong in thinking that? I feel like they've battered them in recent times. But I'll say I'll say they win this by, yeah, 23 points. Port Adelaide should account for the Crows quite easily in the showdown, you'd think. I'd say 36 points. Fremantle versus Brisbane's a tough one because Brisbane, again, as they sit on the live ladder, are sixth. Uh, haven't been in the most convincing form, but Fremantle's sort of running out of legs a little bit, running out of steam. Um... I think they've lost five for the whole year now. And uh, Walters could be back for this game. Not too sure, but he hasn't been in great form. So I'm just going to tip the better side here. Brisbane by 19 points. 
Eagles versus Melbourne at Optus. Now, this is a funny one as well, where Melbourne, if they bring some in different form like they have, as they have in times this year, then they're vulnerable. But I just don't think the Eagles' best at any point this year has really been that compelling. I'm going to tip the better team here to win by 24 points. Brisbane versus Collingwood at the Gabba. You'd have to think this would be a fairly simple win for the Lions. Have we moved into the next round yet? Either way, we'll have a peek at the ladder. Melbourne third, Brisbane back into fourth. How's that happened? Oh, I see what I've done here. I'm an idiot. I uh, I simply started the new round, so Brisbane played an extra game. So hang on, we'll just ignore the ladder for a second. Geelong versus St Kilda at currently GMHBA. I think Geelong will towel the Saints up by 35 points. Gold Coast versus Essendon. Essendon should win that, right? I think in my mid-season ladder predictor, I did this as an upset, but Essendon have proven themselves that they can win at Metricon, and yeah, I, I, they haven't really been upset too many times this year. GWS hosting Richmond. Now, GWS playing for a spot in the finals, pretty much. I think they have to win to stay in contention. Richmond kind of falling away. Uh, I'll tip the, I think the Giants generally win these fixtures in Sydney. The Dogs should uh, easily account for the Hawks there. Melbourne over the Crows quite easily, you'd think. 40 points even. North Melbourne versus Sydney. This is a doozy as well. I'm going to say Sydney win that to be fair. Port Adelaide versus Carlton at Adelaide Oval should be a fairly one-sided win. Carlton have not impressed me at all this year. Eagles win the Derby. Are you kidding me? No, I'm just kidding. That one will probably be a bit closer than people expect, but we generally do well in Derby, so I'm going to tip the Eagles. And that is coming up to the final round. So if we take a look at that final rate race, West Coast have it sewn up. Is that right? They've got six points. No, they've actually got... 10 points, is that right? They've got 10 points on the next closest opponent, um, assuming they beat Collingwood and Fremantle. So now they're coming up against the Lions, but GWS, Essendon, Richmond, St. Kilda, all on nine wins. That is huge. So if GWS win their last game, they're in the finals. If not, it could be one of any of the next three teams. Brisbane's going to clobber West Coast at the Gabba. Let's just put that to bed right now. 40 points. Carlton versus GWS. This is exactly the sort of game Carlton would win. And this is exactly the sort of game GWS would lose. I'll tip Carlton in an upset. Four points. That would be heartbreaking for Giants fans. Essendon versus Collingwood. Essendon will win this by five goals. That's probably a little bit generous. Probably a bit closer than that. Geelong versus Melbourne. If this game's at the MCG, I think Melbourne can win. But GMHBA. Nah, G- Melbourne did get close in 2018 to beating them there. It's not like the ground holds fears for them. That's the, that being said, I'm still going to tip Geelong. Richmond will then beat Hawthorne to salvage a bit of respectability. 25-point win. They're still in the hunt. Actually, no, that's not true. Essendon has moved ahead of them. So Richmond can't make the finals. Essendon can. St. Kilda winning this game might... I don't think it will be enough. I think if they win this game, which I think they would, they are still moving into 10th spot. So does that mean our final eight is wrapped up? I think it does. Sydney... Hosting Gold Coast. Oh, Gold Coast, they're kind of their bunnies, but uh, uh, Sydney won't lose that for sure. 36 points. Bulldogs versus Port Adelaide. Oh, so this is for top four. So that's interesting as well. This could literally shape Port and Brisbane's premiership chances because I think winning from fifth will be too hard to ask for either of them. I, th- I think the dogs would clap them, to be honest. I'll say oh, 22 points. i am gone pretty conservative on the margins, but Adelaide versus North Melbourne. Oh, Hang on, if North win this, does that mean they climb out of the bottom four? I'm, in te- I'm tempted to tip them here. Adelaide haven't been horrible, but North are playing at a better standard. I'm going to say North win that. And they shoot, they literally shoot out of the bottom four. And Collingwood win the wooden spoon. Tell you what, there's one game that is bothering me though. I want to go back and I want to change this one. I'm going to say St Kilda upset Sydney to change the final eight. Oh, with Rowan Marshall back, I think St Kilda can do it. Is that... That's cooked. Although, it did leave the bizarre scenario where uh, Essendon would have qualified for the finals with just 10 wins. This is a weird season, man. The top eight race has been shite in terms of teams just not wanting eighth spot. Even West Coast in seventh there. 12 and 10. You missed the finals a lot with that record. I think I think Adelaide had 12 and 10 in 2018, and I know this because I did a video on it very, very recently. They went 12 and 10 with 104% and finished 12th. West Coast, 12 and 10 for 97%, finished seventh. That's stupid. (laughs) 
Yeah, it hasn't been a great year for finals contenders. It looks like it's auto-filled a few of the uh, of the finals matchups for me here. Um, so that's very weird, but we'll scroll down to them now. Bulldogs versus Brisbane at the MCG. Bulldogs are clearly a better side, I think. Don't think the MCG is their true home ground. They did just beat the Ds there, though. They beat the Lions there. Port Adelaide would beat St. Kilda. Always a chance for an upset there, but I think they would win that. Sydney versus West Coast. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Not even worth discussing that. Sydney would clobber West Coast. Uh, even if it's, I think if it was moved to like the MCG or something, which is possible for a final, uh, rather than GMHBA, I, I, they'd probably still play it at the G, uh, GMHBA, but yeah, no. Sydney will thrash the Eagles. Geelong versus Melbourne. Again, are we assuming this is at the MCG? Does there have to be two MCG finals in a round? Because that will sway my tip. I'm going to actually go the Ds there. I think the Ds are going to be red hot. All right, semi-final matchups. Geelong versus Sydney on the right there. Um, again, upset potential, but I can't possibly have Geelong out in top, in straight sets. So Geelong win at the MCG. Brisbane versus Port. Brisbane should win that at the Gabba. So that sets up prelims of the Dogs and Geelong and Melbourne and Brisbane. The Dogs and Geelong. The Dogs got very close to beating them at GMHBA. That was an absolute thriller. They were crueled after the siren. That's a toughie. That's a toughie. I think the Dogs might win that. Oh my God, am I doing this? I think the Dogs will beat them. Am I pandering to the Dogs fans out there who still give me shit for saying they're going to miss the finals? Maybe. But... Oh, I don't know. I don't know. Geelong's list quality is probably unrivaled, but we'll see. We'll have to see. Finals performance is not that strong under Chris Coe. I don't know. I'm kind of... I'm just talking shit here, guys. Melbourne versus Brisbane. I would go the Ds, uh, assuming that would be the MCG. Um, and again, who knows if this whole final series is in Perth. I'd really doubt it, um, but we can't plan for that. Sets up Bulldogs and Demons grand final. This would be amazing. This is the grand final I would like to see. Um... You know, Geelong have been involved in the last grand final, um, been a strong team for a long time, and the Dogs and Ds would just be a different kind of matchup. Non-traditional rivals, um, two teams that haven't had a lot of success over the last 50 years, to be honest. Three flags between them in 50 years, uh, and one flag between them in 40 years. So this would be a great grand final. Bont versus Petrarca, um, Oliver. Uh, I'm going to tip the D's to win the flag still. Controversial, maybe. They're third at the moment. But I just think their brand of football has been best this year. So we'll go with that. Anyway, guys, that is just my fun little crack at uh, at a top eight prediction. And then, you know, a crack at the finals. But when, when we actually get to the finals, I'll, I'll do a new ladder predictor. Because it's fun. It's fun. So hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you think I got right and what you think I got wrong. I, I have tried to throw a few upsets in there just to make this interesting. Collingwood winning the wooden spoon would be the most pointless thing ever after they've traded away their pick to GWS. So GWS would have pick one. <laughs> the other variable is if teams start tanking here. If you believe in tanking and it still exists, I don't know. Hawthorne have a lot more to gain by finishing last. So when they play each other next week, you know, is that a factor? Do they throw around a few different matchups? Maybe. Jason Horn could be on the table for them or he might end up at GWS. That's just insane. All right, guys, that's all I got for you today. Hope you're enjoying all the content at the moment. I do have a very special podcast coming out with Cade McDonald. Uh, I, think, I believe it'll be out Sunday. So um, join us for 81 minutes of goodness. Uh, thanks for watching, guys. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I'll see you in the next video. Cheers.